anywhere. Maybe we should call for him. All right, on the count of three, we'll say, Dusty, where are you? Ready? One, two, three. Dusty, where are you? I don't hear. Maybe we need to do it a little bit louder. Ready? One, two, three. Dusty, where are you? Right here, and there he is. Hey! Hi, Dusty. Hi, Miss Cozy. Hi, friends. Oh, Miss Cozy, I'm so glad I found you. So, I remember that you were telling me that this month the kids are going to be learning about Joseph, and I started doing some reading about Joseph. And I gotta tell you, it's not looking too good for him. Oh, you're right. There are parts of Joseph's story where it's kind of hard to tell what's gonna happen and it doesn't look very good for him. Sometimes he gets lonely or maybe he's sad or frustrated. But you know, what we're gonna learn about is that no matter what was happening in Joseph's story, he always knew that God loved him, that God was always with him and that God had a plan. And you know what? God has a plan for me and you and all of you friends. But before we hear more about Joseph's story, let's worship together. All right, friends, when we worship together, what do we do? That's right, we dance, dance. and yeah, we, we sing. sing. But what do we sing about? Let's do it together, ready? How, how much God, God loves, loves us and how, how much we love him. him. All right. You are ready to worship on the count of three. We're going to jump up, spin around once, wag our tails, star fingers. Ready? One, two, three. Jump up, spin around once, wag your tails, star fingers. I can fly around.
us that we can count on God. That's right, we can count on God because God always has a plan. Just like it says in our verse of the month. I'll teach it to you guys and then we can all do it together. Okay, ready? I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, do it with me, ready? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Wait, no, hey, Dusty, wait, leave that squirrel alone, come back. Oh man, I was just gonna teach you guys the new song. Well, I'll teach it to you anyways, and Dusty can learn it later. All right, are you guys ready to learn our new song for the month? He's a, awesome, he's let's do it together. He's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 his love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. God has a really awesome plan for me, and a really awesome plan for you, and a really awesome plan for all of our friends. Speaking of friends. We have some birthdays to celebrate. That's right. We have Caitlin, who's turning four. And we have Pierce, who's turning three. Happy birthday, friends. Happy birthday. Let's sing him happy birthday. Yay. Yeah. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Caitlin and Pierce. Happy birthday to you. Two, three, four. Woohoo! I can help you. I can help, and I really, really want to. Woohoo! I can help you.
can do Cause I really, really, really wanna help you Is there anything I can do? Cause I really, 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 really wanna help you Anything I can do Cause I really, really, really wanna help you Is there anything I can do? Cause I really, 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 really wanna help you Woo-hoo, I can help you I can help and I really, really want to Woo-hoo, I can help you I can help and I really, really want to Woo-hoo, I can help you I can help and I really, really want to Woo-hoo, I can help you I can help and I really, really I'm really excited to hear the true story from the Bible that Ollie's going to tell us about Joseph. But before we do, what do we always do? Hmm. Sing Jesus Loves Me. That's right. Let's sing it together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Who? Who? Know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. to see what's inside. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was just about to do something really fun and exciting. Do you want to help me? Great! I was hoping you'd say that. My mom gave me this big bin of stuff to look through. She said it will help me with my plan for a very special party. An ice cream sundae party. I am so excited. Let's look inside. Whoa, check out these colorful ice cream bowls. These definitely need to be part of my party plan. Oh yes, spoons. You can eat an ice cream sundae without spoons. Spoons definitely have to be part of this party plan. And so are these decorations. These streamers are perfect. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Ho, ho. Planning a party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm putting together my plan for the very best ice cream sundae party the clubhouse has ever seen. I'm so excited. Party planning is fun. It's true. I have a story about a different plan to tell you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello friends. I'm Casey and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Happy Ice Cream Sunday Month! <laughs> and what better thing to go with ice cream than... Cupcakes! See the little ice cream cones on top? I made them for my friend's ice cream sundae party. He has big plans for his party. That reminds me of today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is all about a plan. Did you know that God has a plan for you? It's true! God has a plan for us. And he had a plan for Joseph too. 
like we see in this true story from the Bible. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph had 11 brothers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Whoa, that's a lot of brothers. <laughs> One day, Joseph's father gave him a special gift. It was a coat, an absolutely beautiful coat. When the brothers saw Joseph had a special coat and they didn't, how do you think they felt? Do you think they felt happy? Show me your happy face. Or do you think they felt mad? Show me your mad face. Which do you think they were? Yes, they were mad that Joseph had a special coat and they didn't. So they took Joseph's coat away and threw him in the ground. That's not good. That would make me sad or mad or even scared. But do you know what? Joseph knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. Just then, his brother showed up and pulled Joseph out of the hole. Uh-oh, what are they doing? The brothers sent Joseph with some people going to Egypt and they took him really, really, really far away. Things were not going well for Joseph, but he knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. God loved Joseph and had a plan for him. In fact, there is a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. And God loves us and he has a plan for us too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Joseph, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a story. Joseph must have been really scared, but he knew God loved him and was always with him, so he could trust in God's plan. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Well, speaking of plans, I need to get some help planning for this ice cream sundae party. I think I'm gonna get my friends to help. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye. There's a lot more to Joseph's story, but this month we are going to discover that in every part of Joseph's story, God loves him, God's with him, and God has a plan for him. Yeah, and that also means that God loves you, God is with you, and God has a plan for you. So true. All right, friends, Miss Caitlin has made some super fun crafts for you guys this month. So we're gonna send it on over to her and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later. Hi friends, it's Miss Caitlin. I hope you have enjoyed your first week of September. This month we are focusing on how God has a plan for each and every one of us. And we're gonna be talking about Joseph's story today. So in your Bible story, Joseph received a gift from his father. Do you remember what that gift was? A coat, that's right. So for today's craft, we have two separate pictures. The first one is Joseph, and you're gonna follow the numbers to connect the dots and draw Joseph's coat. The second one is a blank coat, and you get to decorate this one as fancy as you'd like. Joseph sure does face a lot of ups and downs in his story, but no matter what, he knows that God loves him and God has a plan for him, just like he does for me and just like he does for you. 
I hope you really enjoy getting to know Joseph this month and I'll see you next time.